other is yours. None shall interfere. Do as you please. The Batman 2021 is one of the most anticipated movies coming, not just next year, but this year. I mean, obviously it comes out in 2021, but it is the most anticipated movie of the century so far. I know we've got Thor 4 next year, Doctor Strange 2, but everyone is talking about The Batman 2021. So recently we had the Batmobile reveal. And then the designer of the car revealed that where the engine is actually is the bat symbol. No one noticed it. Why didn't no one notice it? It's the bat symbol. So that is a quirky little cool thing that's come out over the past couple of days. So recently we put out a video about the Joker being in the Matt Reeves trilogy and I said it's most likely not going to happen but what's happened since I put that video out is every single artist in the world including the iconical Boss Logic. He's made an image. He's essentially turned the fantastic beast image of Johnny Depp into the Joker and he looks freaking awesome and loads of other Instagram artists have also done the following thing. So what's come up in the comment section for that video quite often is I'm sick and tired of the interpretation of the Joker. We do not need the Joker. We do not need the Joker. But what is interesting about this is we've not really had the Joker that much recently have we? No. The, the villain of Batman vs Superman was essentially Superman in a way, and then it was Lex Luthor. So the Joker wasn't in that? No. Suicide Squad, Gerald Leto's Joker was in that movie, so I can see where you're coming from from that one. But throughout the whole Christopher Nolan, Christian Bale's Batman series, Heath Ledger, obviously a legend, one of the most iconic Jokers ever, he was in one movie out of three. So everyone keeps saying Joker always has to be the main narrative of the main villain, but realistically, to be for the Joker to be the villain, you've got to go back quite a long time for the Joker to be that prominent inside about a movie. So like I said in the video we posted a week or so ago now, the Joker could be in this movie, but as it is year one Batman or zero year Batman, it realistically wouldn't make much point, point for the Joker to appear in a young Bruce Wayne movie. Would it? No, no. Cool, cool. So is Johnny Depp going to be the Joker? Now, since I put that video out, I think, I don't know if anyone else did, but since I put that out, it's been absolutely everywhere. If you Google Johnny Depp the Joker, the Batman Johnny Depp, and there's so many articles now saying that DC are looking to bring Johnny Depp into their universe. Well, at the moment, Johnny Depp is going through a massive court case in his personal life, so I don't really think that would like, interfere if they want to do that because Warner Bros. isn't like Marvel, Disney. Warner Bros. is, is like a, I guess you say, it's a parent company. It's an adult company where is your personal life isn't really going to affect the movie and then they, they still do it because of the whole Amber Heard situation. They've not dropped there as, a, as Mirror in Act 1 too. So it is pretty interesting. So I think that Johnny Depp would be a fantastic Joker why? Because we've already seen him play a variation of the Mad Hatter, which, okay, the Mad Hatter, it's not the Mad Hatter in the sense of the DC universe. It's the Mad Hatter in the sense of the Disney books, so to speak. So it is cool. We already know roughly what he's going to look like. So I am fan casting Johnny Depp to be the Joker in the Batman 2021 trilogy. But realistically, I don't think they should bring him in until the second or third movie as we already have the Penguin. We have the Penguin. We have Two-Face, we have Mad Hatter, so potentially he could become Mad Hatter. If the Mad Hatter is in this movie, there's so many Batman rogue villains in this movie, as it will be following some kind of variation of a long Halloween, and this is also being verified by Jeffrey Wright, who's playing Commissioner Gordon, as he put on his Instagram recently that he was reading that comic book. Now, it only makes sense why he is reading the comic book, is because it's like source material for what he's doing. So, an actor called Elliot Warren has recently been casted into the Batman movie and he looks like Firefly. There's been a lot of rumors and rumblings that Firefly will be in this movie. As we know, Firefly was in Batman Arkham Knight. He is one of the cool rogues. He was also in Gotham, although in Gotham, Firefly was a female. So maybe he could be playing Firefly. It is cool that they are still casting more people into this movie. And also, if you didn't know, they are actually going to be making this movie through to August, late August. So rumors and throw through people have said. So yeah, January, well, technically February. So it's like a five, six month shoot. So don't be surprised if 
they do reveal many many more casting notices for who is going to be in this movie as you know they are recently ramping up production and it looks like they are going to liverpool well let's be honest i've read multiple casting lists for car scenes for a halloween scene for passer buyers there's multiple scenes that they will be shooting in liverpool and also recently an image has appeared online of an actual warner bros studios production lorry turning up in the middle of liverpool so it looks like they are starting to shoot the liverpool scenes either monday or tomorrow it's really hard to decipher but as i said guys make sure to check out bat source on twitter he keeps everyone up to date with all the latest and greatest information and there's a lot of information on there so there's also some images that imply it's going to have something to do with underground catacombs so it says we can see a big blue hiding something and a giant door that apparently leads to an underground catacombs currently so maybe this could lead to something maybe the bat cave maybe we know there should be some kind of variation of the bat cave so apparently if you do go on and actually dig out some more information you can see that apparently the door they can fit cars through it so maybe it could lead to some variation of the bat cave maybe that's the only explanation for it as you know they are filming in uk for a gothic feel because you know everyone from uk is a god uh, no i'm not gonna say that because that's not true but that's kind of what they did with venom 2 in london they shot venom 2 in london london because of the gothic kind of feel I, i've never interpreted london to be a gothic kind of feel so that is currently what we know of what's going down in liverpool but there will be a lot of news coming up after the 16th during next week because there is a lot of films scenes for the battle movie being shot there so also in the news e3 was cancelled because of reasons so warner bros games was apparently recording and going to be making their first appearance in years for none other than the batman arkham game yeah i know if it exists well apparently according to insiders they were going to announce the harry potter new franchise and the batman arkham franchise at e3 in june in la but that's being cancelled now for reasons, so they're probably going to do some live stream or something like that. It's quite apparent that that Batman Arkham game, if it's called Arkham Legacy, will be coming to the PS5, maybe, and also PS4, most likely. So what is also interesting is they've been shooting this movie for quite a while now, and no one has been seen on set. Colin Farrell, sorry, Kravetz, as you guys love to say that. No one's been, I just don't get it how no one's been seen on set. They've been shooting for such a long time now. And at the moment, no one appears to have been seen on set, which is very weird because they're shooting out in public. But I guarantee when they start shooting the Batmobile scenes, which is this up and coming week, they might even start tomorrow. I will keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest news that there will be some Batmobile scenes out in the public. And this is where we're going to get the first look of Robert Pattinson in the actual Batman suit himself outside of promo images that always, always look better than the images you're going to see whilst they're on set. So that's going to be pretty cool when that does come out. I believe there will be a bunch of people taking pictures all week as, you know, they can't shoot anything in public without something being revealed. So it is cool because it helps the content and it helps us keep up to date with everything going on set with the Batmobile movie, aka the Batman movie. So it wouldn't be a Wall Street video without me going over some potential leaks and plot leaks and that kind of stuff. So let's go over the most recent leaks, okay? And let's get into it. So like always, take it with a pinch of salt, but like I say, every time Terminator, Dark Fate, Infinity War, Endgame, Game of Thrones, Star Trek, Picard, Star Wars, Rise of the Empire, and so much more has leaked from 4chan and Reddit, and it's been bang on. So there isn't a post on DCEU leaks that says this. There are strong rumors going around on Johnny Depp in talks to play the Joker, just like your boy Warshu said, but I don't think it's true. But you guys love talking about things that can potentially happen in the Batman movie because his first choice of Matt Reeves for the Joker is apparently... Johnny Depp. And then the second one is William Defoe. Then the third one is Jim Carrey, which is interesting. Jim Carrey would nail absolutely every role he's in. Did you see him in the Sonic movie? He killed it. Jim Carrey, amazing Riddler. 
bringing back his Riddler, in my opinion. And then it went on to say, any of them would be cool to play Joker, but everyone is expecting Joaquin Phoenix to have an appearance in the Batman movie. Now, I don't really think this is true, guys. Why? Because this is supposed to be set in its own cinematic universe. It's supposed to be set in an Elseworld storyline, like a dark storyline that's got nothing to do with anything else. If they added Joaquin Phoenix into this movie at some point, post credit scene, it would take a lot away a lot of the validity in the sense that it's like, okay, you're just throwing that in there because you can't think of anything for yourself. That is what I my interpretation of it will be. So there's also a plot leak. Now, take it with a pinch of salt, but your boy War Stu is right. And when he's wrong, he's wrong. Okay, Riddler is the main villain. Him and Catwoman are working together to bring down Falcone's empire. They kill off the corrupt mayor. And that's actually kind of being confirmed by certain things that's happened on set. So, yeah, I can kind of believe that. The corrupt DA, the corrupt police commissioner. Detective Gordon is a homeless drunk who raises his daughter on his own ever since his wife was murdered. Things change when he meets Batman. Now, this is interesting because, as you know, we've got a very different variation of every single character. I mean, Paul Dano playing the Riddler, seriously. But he is a good actor in his own right. I've not really seen much of his work, but the work I have seen, he has been good. So I could be get behind this. But like I say, I like to say plot leaks like they're true because every single movie leaks in some capacity. Catwoman is the daughter of Falcone. Really? That would be a much different interpretation of Catwoman. Selina Carr, it really would, being the daughter of Falcone. Now, I'm not the biggest Batman fan, although I like Batman. My Batman knowledge isn't the best. I'm not going to be one of these fake people that make out they've read every single Batman comic dating back 100 years old, because if you've read every single Batman comic, you'd have to be like 100 years old. And no, we don't do this. We're legit on this channel. So let's go on. Much like Zero Year, Bruce remained in hiding so he can focus on Batman. He uses a hideout in the abandoned Arkham Asylum. No Batcave. Okay, no... Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm calling it out. I'm calling it out. Okay, no Batcave. There's got to be a Batcave. Seriously? Maybe not. No Batcave, but but the kind of behind-the-scenes images implies differently. Bruce Wayne is exposed later on in the movie. This distracts him from his vigil anti duties, and the DA is killed in a car crash. Now, as we know, this movie is going to follow some variation of the long Halloween where there's a bunch of murder mysteries, and Bruce Wayne essentially has to kind of discover what's going on. So, yeah, parts of this could be true. Harvey Dent is... The assistant DA. He becomes Gotham's DA by the end of the film. He's already has an established relationship with Batman. He also has a twin sister. Cobblepot is running for mayor. They kind of did that in Gotham. So yeah, I don't know. Firefly, I mean, we've just gone over a potential actor who could be playing that character. Mad Hatter and Dick Grayson would appear. I mean, there is a circus scene, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's to do with Dick Grayson. Robin, I mean, that was just more to do with Mad Hatter. No new bat suit. Okay, there's been rumors, plot leaks and stuff, which are probably fake, but we don't know. But I love to go over everything, saying there's going to be multiple bat suits. I mean, if there isn't, there isn't. If there is, there is. doesn't really make a difference. No Wayne murder flashback. Now, if they were to do, obviously, Thomas Wayne, Martha Wayne flashbacks, they would have to put a casting notice out for both characters. Now, I do look on casting calls and all that kind of stuff quite frequently, and I've not noticed anything for any project to do with anything being filmed in London, so I can confirm and verify that I don't know if it's true. Riddler is a title created by the media. He never refers to himself as that, and that is pretty interesting. So if that is true, it's kind of going to be a basic movie, but I'm not expecting this to be an amazing, groundbreaking, narrative, storytelling-based story. What's you? You're just a wrong pants hater. No, it's got nothing to do with that. It's just going to be an awesome, freaking awesome Batman movie. I'm not expecting the story to be anything groundbreaking because it, every Batman movie... Uh, at its sole purpose is pretty much a generic story but it would be pretty cool to see if any of this is real so like always guys please like subscribe and comment please follow me on twitter at wwarstu instagram at warstu twitter at warstu facebook at warstu facebook page warstu facebook so guys Thank you for all the love and support recently. Maybe if we get to 100,000 subscribers this year, I will be giving away a really 
awesome price so like always guys thank you very much for all the love the support i read every single comment down below and i take in the feedback i want this channel to get better grow bigger be better and put out better content so any feedback if you don't like what i said if you disagree with anything I said please comment down below and if you do want to reach out to me and get in, into more with a one-on-one -on -one conversation just send me a message on one of my platforms and i will get back to you and if you are a business and you want to work with Warshu on a brand deal or anything like that, just reach out to me business at gmail.com and I'll get back to you or my team will get back to you as fast as possible. So like always guys, please like, subscribe and comment. It really helps tiny YouTubers like myself. I know I've got a bunch of subscribers but I still feel like a tiny YouTuber. So just, just, just help me out guys and subscribe. Notifications on. Tell your whole family. Okay, cool, cool. Right, I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.